welcome back to Wendy's channel and today is a, a bit of a haul. February's a bit of a tough one for me. Car insurance renewal time, bit skint, got to be honest. Uh, it is about my birthday though so I have got a few bits from my birthday bits and pieces so there are a few things to show you. Um, yeah we'll get into it again, see how we go. First got a couple of books, couple of books. <laughs> couple of books. <laughs> um, I bought a few second-hand books off, uh, I think I bought it off um, eBay. Um, is it World Books that's on eBay that sells second-hand books? Anyway, I bought some second-hand books. They're, they're a bit hit and miss, if I'm honest. Some of them, you know what it's like, it says, perfect, this book is perfect. And then you open it and someone's coloured it. <laughs> It's not my idea of perfect, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. So this is Birdie, uh, Room and Child Colours by Susan Carlson. Um, it is a Amazon printed book, so, and this one happens to be printed in uh, Great Britain. So easy to get hold of if you're interested. I just, you know, I, I think I was looking for a book in particular and a few of these popped up and I thought, oh, go on then. <laughs> as they're only super cheap um so yeah birdie so it's all birds fortunately as you might have noticed this is just fortunately in colored pencil so i have had a bit of a go already with my excuse the noise rubber and it does come off to quite a light um bit of color left so it'll be easy to remove and work over so it's not the end of the world i noticed when i was having a bit of a look through this that there are duplicates in this so it seems to give you the title then it seems to give you a lighter shade of it so like a light gray a normal dark print and then a black print all of the same um image which is quite nice to have a bit of a difference isn't it uh, so I'll try and flick through with um, avoiding all of the repeats if possible. It's not going to be possible, is it? So we've got Flashy Flamingos, three of which the parakeets we've just seen. We've got Tiger Lily Tweet, I'm guessing there's going to be... Oh no, there's only one of him. Twins on a hat, a couple of them. Fishy Bird Black. I'm guessing some of these are invented rather than realistic. Just Ducky. Ooh, two went there. Well, I didn't want to. Oh, it was the same anyway. Uh, Heron and Frog. Who's up there? And a fish. Of which we've got a couple of. Lady Protea. That's the flowers, isn't it? Not the birds. They're beautiful. Might need to look them up to colour it though. Tomato Tom. Again, a few of the same one. Prairie Birds at Dusk. Bird with fancy eggs. Bird on a rail or a sail, is that? Mm, I think rail maybe. <laughs> Not sail. Foxglove Swinger. Some of these could be really beautiful coloured actually. Leafy Bird. Again, isn't, this is not a new book. Bedtime Blossom Buddies. Sunflower Bird. Hummingbird. That's beautiful as well. Nightfall Cosmo. Owl Orb, is that? Like that. It's only one of them. No, there's a light one but not a not a black background one sky hitchhiker sweethearts teapot birds raven in the that looks like ground or sound I'm not sure nocturnal raven in bird bath there's a few of him. Birdie on a branch. Laundry birds. Booty bird. Midnight owl in the wisteria. 
Is he our last one? I think he might be. And then you've got a couple of parrots, intro, a little bit of something. Yeah, your intro one, obviously. The only thing I will say is it's, it's quite, I don't know how well my camera will pick it up, it's quite kind of micro pixelated. Well, certainly the background on that one is, and this one feels very pixelated. I think the main ones when it's a black background they seem a bit more matte but these are again again I don't know how well it'll pick it up they're, they're quite pixelated when you're on them close they're not like great big pixels but yeah you don't see it as much on the black background ones definitely these light ones you, you definitely do see the pixelation on these quite a lot I'm guessing that's how they've made them lighter is taking maybe half the print out digitally yeah anyway so there's only the one page that's got a bit of colour in so I'm, I'm fairly pleased with that um, I'm not a great lover of the Amazon print but this has a nice print to it at least <laughs> the ones from my local Amazon are nice and streaky these are quite nicely printed for Amazon and nice ones on the pack as well so yeah I quite like it nice little 8 by 8 I might say because it was second hand cheap <laughs> now <laughs> sometimes cheap's not always good Botticelli I love the art of Bot Botticelli seen it in real life when I was much younger have nice memories of it thought I'm never gonna be able to color this like Botticelli but it would be a nice book to have yeah, and it would have been a nice book to have as you can see my postman bent it through my letterbox that didn't help matters but then when I started to look through it I realized it really didn't matter that my postman had bent it through the letterbox because this was not in good condition. This was a lie. Zara had loved this book herself. Bless her. And she's coloured in a lot of this book. Oh dear, never mind. It's a bit of a strange book. We'll, we'll skip through quite quickly because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. She's filled in the writing. I'm not so sure I think much of her, her chat up technique. I don't think they probably spoke like that then, but there you go. <laughs> but maybe she knows something I don't. Who knows? But yeah. <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> I think there's another bit as well. Oh yeah, she's done some drawings in here. This one's savable, I suppose. Yes, and that's it, so... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might try and rub it out, but it's already pretty dinged. It's already pretty drawn in. The corners are all kind of peeled up. Good condition? No, it was not in good condition. But it was only a pound or something like that. So it's not like I've lost a fortune. Uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This was another second-hand one. Illustrated by Forest Diver. This is, a again, another Amazon-printed book. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to what this was going to be like, really. I just again, it was cheap, so I thought, oh, I'll give, we'll give it a go. I've no doubt I'm going to be back and forth a little bit with this one, but I like an Alice in Wonderland book, and I thought there's probably some pages that I will colour out of this one somewhere in it because I always do like a bit of Alice in Wonderland. See, quite like that one in particular and that one I don't think I love these faces on some of these tiny ones I think when you start to colour them you kind of lose the expression a little bit maybe but I don't know I think there's enough in here that I'm glad I've got it that I'll probably do a bit in it but I don't think I love all of it but there's some nice scenes again I just don't love her face she looks like she's evil slightly doesn't she but some of these pages I do like, they're kind of a bit more abstract, I suppose. They're a little bit strange little glimpses. Some of these I really like. Just the scenes, I'm not loving all of them. Quite like this bit though. Cheshire Cat. So 
So, yeah. Oh, this is Adventures in Wonderland by Forest Diver. It'll still be on Amazon, I think. This is obviously an older copy because I've got it second hand, but arrived in pretty good nick, not been coloured, and I do like a good chunk of it. I'm tempted to try and scan some of them and try and put them on a bit better paper, but all in all, for a second hand buy, I was pretty pleased. I think this was the book I was trying to find, hence why I went on eBay. So, Garden Enchantments by Angelica Scudamore. I think I saw this on Coloured Up North and it did tempt me to go a looking. Um, so this one, yeah, this one reminded me very much of the style in, oh, just behind me, the style of Emily Leidenhall Oberg, excuse my messy copy. Um, but yeah, the way she draws, this kind of reminded me a little bit of it. Oh, can't get back in there. There we go. So, yeah, which tempted me to try and see if I could find one. And like I said, I did get mine off eBay. So let me crack my spine a little bit. But yeah, the drawing style reminds me a little bit of her drawing style. And I do like um, that book particularly. So I thought, why not? Clearly not been used because as you can see, it's hardly wants to open even. Some of it is not all my thing, but I, I liked enough of it that I thought, like, I quite like these little characters in the plant pot. You've got a bit of fence. It's a little bit too like patterny for me in places, um, but there was enough of it that I thought, yeah, I really quite like it. Paper in this is nice, feels good. I think I'd get away with a little bit of metallic watercolour in it. But yeah, there were enough of it that I liked that I thought, yeah, I'm going to hunt that down and try and find it. Um, and yeah, I found it reasonably easy on eBay to find a copy. Um, just interesting little characters in it. And I quite like some of the scenes and there's some that are a bit wallpapery for me. But I don't know, might still do it. Might be quite nice painted some of these. I'm not in the mood for doing them in colour, but like something like that I can see working really quite well. A couple of mermaids. But yeah, might be a bit patterny for some, but there were enough little character pages that I thought that would be really nice as well in it that it appealed quite like these little birds as well. a lot of pages in as you can see little field mouse I definitely prefer the pages that have got characters or animals on I think I think they they feel a bit more my thing I think when it's just a page of flowers or something like that probably I'm not going to do that but this side I quite like got an oh two owls always my favourite. I've not done an owl page for a while actually. Maybe that we're overdue. quite like these fishes as well. Birds, more fishes. Right, Little people. I think that's the last one with the little castle on. Yes. So I'm not sure when this was printed. Let's have a look. Is it in the front? Mm, no, it is not in the front. Did I just miss it at the back? Oh yeah. 2016. So yeah, you might struggle finding um, somewhere that's got stock. Looks like it's a British publisher, the, the version I've got. If you want the ISBN, if it helps. This is the, but yeah, I found it on um, eBay fairly easily. Obviously, I've not looked since to see how many are still up hanging around. And then I forget who I did. I saw this on someone's channel. Apologies to whoever it was, but Fairy Tales by Annie Coloring. Um, 
I've been trying to avoid buying loads of Amazon books lately because I don't enjoy the paper. But, like I say, I think I'm going to start trying to experiment a little bit in scanning them and putting them on paper I prefer. But these were so pretty. I couldn't help myself. Um, and she hand draws it, which is the main reason that I also bought it. So, printed by Amazon, easily found on there. Um, she's got some really nice bits of portraiture. They're a little bit wacky. They've got a bit of character to them. Some of them are obviously a little bit thicker line work than others, but I quite like the style. Um, like, I do quite fancy doing that one, and a few of the others really appealed. So, yeah, I'm planning to scan them onto, because this is pretty thick of the... Pretty thick. <laughs> pretty thin of the Amazon paper. But I do like the images, so need to have a play and see how easy it is to scan some to get a better version of it missed one sorry but yeah fairy tales coloring books only a little thin one coloring book by Annie Coloring then another of my second hand ones I don't know did I see this on um, I'm thinking I might have seen this on coloring with Maya possibly I don't know, or maybe I just picked it thinking it looked good. I can't remember. Uh, Olivia Whitworth, Dreamweaver, a colouring adventure to help dream your night away. Again, second hand. It's, it's oh, in okay, Nick. It feels a little bit dinged here and there. But it's, yeah, it's a, quite an unusual book. Um, so, yeah, it's basically this woman obviously goes to sleep and then you're seeing bits of her dreams. Sometimes she's in it, sometimes it's just part of her dreams. But, yeah, I quite like the idea of it. It was a little bit, it's a little bit wacky in places. So you've got kind of scenes starting to develop. I think these are supposed to be kind of fields turning into waves, are they? Because it kind of, when you look at it, it kind of looks like fields, but then it's kind of like waves. I'm not sure. It's a bit of a wacky book, but I quite like it. And paper is, yeah, it's pretty good. It feels a bit more card-like, actually, the paper. But, yeah, you've got off quite a few um, sea, underwater scenes. You've got all sorts of beach scenes. Again, she's in it this time. Hot air balloons, bit of scenery. Bit of a nice heavy woodland. Yeah, I like that. Although they look like random eyeballs just hanging about, but I think there's some kind of thing on the tree, aren't they? It's just the way they were placed. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> can't help myself. Greenhouse. <sighs> to squash it. <sighs> Bit more of a confusing one isn't it i kind of think these are hills but again she's in a boat so it's kind of a bit of oh, i'm guessing that's who it was that i got it from used book supers if you're in the us that's where i've got it from i'm guessing you can go in person yep, little bird houses Heights. That could be a fun page. I do like a bit of colour. A page full of kites is a good excuse, isn't it? I quite like this as well. You've got the flowers, you've got insects. Is this overground, underground? I think it must be, isn't it? These are cool as well. Yeah, it's just something about it, isn't it? It's a little bit different. Paper's good. Interesting scenes. Train. It's a little bit crazy, but not too crazy. There's a lot of different things in here that, yeah, I'm really glad I've got this. I like it a lot. Umbrellas, fish market. At least there's no smell of vision. <laughs> I quite like that though. <laughs> cats. It would attract cats. 
trying to pull her cat into the dream or has the cat stolen the fish out of her dream? Who knows? <laughs> Random bit of fish on the floor. Is that what started off the fish dreams? <laughs> and there we go. Oh, I'm guessing there's the... Oh, maybe you find the cat in each of the pages, maybe. I didn't really look. Oh, he's there, look. At least it's not like something that's like overlapped with part of the drawing. You could just colour the cat in, couldn't you? That doesn't bother me too much. So this was another 2016 printed book. Printed in China by a London publisher, by the look of it. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely little book. Oh, they've helpfully put a sticker over the thing, so will it come off so I can show the ISBN? Oh, it's going to rip. Mm. No, it's the answer to that. It's not going to be an easy find because it's an older book anyway. But Dream Weaver by Olivia Whitworth. Like I say, line is a second-hand purchase. It's a little bit stained on the cover. But the images are beautiful in it. So I'm pretty pleased that I've managed to find that one as well. Then, all the rest ones are new. So this was a lovely present. Colouring book, Cozy Spaces, Interiors and Magical Places to Colour by Raider Prince. These are just so cute. Again, it's not a, a brand brand new book, is it? It's uh, been out a little bit of time, but Amazon printed. But I just think these drawings are so peaceful looking that it has appealed. So you've got kind of a cozy little uh, painting space. Nice little sewing space. My sewing space is not that tidy when I have one. I haven't got one set up at the moment because my books have taken over for colouring. I'm not sure what you could describe as a gardening space because we seem to have gardening tools and obviously plants. Cute little bedroom. It's like a reading nook or something. Kitchen. And just a bit of an interiors, aren't they? <laughs> they're quite like that. That's cute with the dog on. But they're just little cute home spaces, aren't they? That I thought was really interesting. Cozy little nooks. And then you've got these little characters that are obviously making use of those rooms, I'm thinking. But yeah, so Cozy Spaces by Raider Prince, Amazon book, easily found on Amazon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to working in that. Nice little relaxing little spaces, I like that. Then I've not bought one of these for pretty much a long, long time. I don't love the new paper and I've not really liked many of the themes that they've had lately but this did appeal to me i do like coloring a mushroom now and again i don't know why just do so fantasy mushroom special 40 fantastical fungi designs by obviously coloring heaven um yeah this did appeal just thought it was quite cute so there seems to be a different a few different artists in here there's um, this one md nausha Sorry if I said that wrong, but yeah, there's a few by this person. Then this is somebody else again, Daria Pneva. I probably said that completely wrong. Sorry. Oh, again, different artists again that I'm not even going to go there because I'm definitely going to say that wrong. Another one again. Mm. This is the same person. Mashi Como, these ones. Minori Cozy Shop. Mushroom people. Ooh. 
things, but Nicolato. <laughs> I'll let you read because <laughs> I'm going to say that wrong. Maritel. Oops, oops, sorry. Not a sideways one. Stop doing sideways ones. Mally C. Tiana Geo. Men's Creative. Tets. I'm sure I've seen this in a book somewhere before, though. When I opened it in the shop, I thought that's familiar and I can't remember where from. And I still, it still hasn't come to me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in something else. H-Art. I quite like these ones. Lainey Deo. <laughs> right, that one. Audrey. Audrey, 10.05. Get her numbers in it. <laughs> and I think that's it. So yeah, it's the first one I've bought for quite a long time. Probably the first, the, the one I've bought and probably won't buy very many more, but because I just don't colour in them enough. But yeah, I quite fancy this one. Fancy Mushroom Special. I don't think I'll colour it all, but when you just want something with a mushroom house in, I've got a nice selection now, haven't I? Then, thinking of mushroom houses, I'm guessing there's going to be one in here. I haven't got all of these, but I think I saw three. Well, I've seen a few people flipping these. Um, Gabby Wolf's Mini Mania colouring books. This is version three. It has two sets in. I think they're lighter at the back, aren't they? Uh, and darker at the front. So we'll just have a look at the front ones. Um, but yeah, I thought this was quite cute. Again, not loving the paper. But I might try and scan them when I want to colour them, I think is what I've come to the conclusion, rather than worrying about it. Just use what I want. But I quite like these with the axolotl in and the tank and the, the bunnies look like they're up to no good. Again, Mushroom House, I knew there'd be one in there somewhere. Little Book House, quite like. They're just cute, aren't they? And I thought these would be quite nice if you just want to do something quick and little and you haven't got much time. I just want to chill out and do something small. That's quite a cute page. Quite like this little boat house. Whole load of buttons. Bit of an interior. Another little cute house. <laughs> quite like these as well. Another kind of boaty looking house. With some nice strawberries. More little small things. Yeah, quite like these. Got a beach house. That looks nice. Can I go there for a week? Looks nice and peaceful. Don't even know. <laughs> Steampunky house? Is that one? Give them all the little things. Teapot house. <laughs> Butterfly wings. This Ludo going through the forest, and yeah, there's all the second ones. So and you can draw the grain lines in color brown or dark blue lines, look very nice. Purple lines go perfectly. So, yeah, whichever you prefer, obviously, same images but a bit lighter. I don't know whether I do the lighter ones or the darker ones, but you've got two two versions. I, it does feel like pretty thick because you've got two versions because there's there's quite a lot of images in this little book. I think it's for the money. You're getting quite a lot for the money, I think, out of these little Gabby Wolf Mini Mania books. I like that. It's very nice. And then the last three books that I've got, before I go into the other stuff, are all Wee Shang Ong books. I'm just going to pause and find my Colour in Heaven version. Okay, so I've got the Starry Night special by obviously Wishan Ong. Um, and yeah, I did a few out of these, and they're in 
these ones. So I really quite like um, these ones that are on the larger scale, which obviously these ones are. So I've done uh, Lady Stella that was an exclusive in this one. I've done Celestial Rose in this one. I think I did another one. Or maybe I'm just telling lies. Did I do another one? Clearly I meant to because I but oh yeah I did oh no. Have I only done them two? I thought I'd done three of those. Anyway, I've only done those two. <laughs> but I did enjoy doing those two. Let me move that out of the way. And they're in these ones, so if you missed that one, got a bit of glare today on the covers of these, haven't we? Sorry. So Nighting Nightingale's one colouring book. Um Again, I just I, re I do really like her portraits. This is probably more of her portraits than I'll ever need. May peace prevail on earth. Juno. I think that one's in that colouring heaven special, and this one definitely is. Care for tea. Pretty night. The watchers, they're cute. Magic kitty. Little star. Stargazer to the gala. Sarah Lacali Moon Dance, that's pretty. Beasties Oak Sister Belonging Faith. Ooh. This one I really like with the owl and the leaves in her hair and she kind of got it going through a costume as well. I, I do like these that have got re really involved headdresses in them. And no mushrooms! And is it a kingfisher? It's got a very long beak. Flow. This one I also love. I think they're these under the sea things. They look like they're underwater things, yeah. There's a fish, yes. Calypso. Layla and the Swan. Pansy is my heart. April is. Yeah, and I think that's all of them. And you get little thumbnails at the front. Oh, I missed a little bit out. Yeah, she's give you a bit of advice. So that's the first one. And then the second one. Again, I'll go from the back just because it's easier to flip from the back. Uh, again, that one's out of the Colour in Heaven one. Ooh, that's a lot of leaves. Guardian, Guardians of the Stella Gateway. Oak Moon Mother, like that one. Also like that one. Poodle and her dame. Night wonders. The all seeing eye. Poppies. Very pretty. The fairy of transformation. Fairy maiden. Frog medicine. Pelican moon. Star pilgrim. I like all of these. Remember paradise. Freedom. The wise counsel. Heart mender. Grace. Transcendence. Star orchid. Gold ducks and three birds. <laughs> Cute. Maiden and mare. Star sisters. Sing me a love song. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. And then, oh, same, sorry, I lost all of them. Got the little thumbnails, the same, they're quite cute. And then all our intro bits and pieces. And then the last one, Night Nightingales 3. We'll go from the back again. <coughs> Venus. She's definitely in the Colour in Heaven special. Lady Stella. Lightbearer. Song of the Night. Nocturnia, that one's nice. Star Blossoms, 
Ooh, bear with me. Beautiful panda. The mighty rabbit. Ooh, like that one as well. Madam Mycelium. I may not have said that correct. Mycelium or oh, Guiana Interneta. I've probably definitely not said that right. I'm not even going to try and say some of these. Uh, Astropy. These are lovely though. I think this is my favourite one. Yeah, I think three is my favourite if I had to pick one. Love all this around the faces. Ooh, I knew I'd drop that then. And then same, got your little thumbnails. We've got her little instructions. Don't use water, basically, because it's Amazon paper. Yeah, lovely book. Think, think that is my favourite, the third one. Oh, I like all of them. I love this one as well. But yes, nice little collection from We Shanong. And I like it that it's a bit bigger pages. I did get her other ones that are bit smaller and I never pick them up because they're so detailed and smaller my eyes always go no <laughs> no more of that okay so other things that I've got in this month there's a couple of things that have been on the channel already so you might have noticed a video for these pop up my Artistro 72 uh, premium coloured pencils they are now living in let me get rid of the tin in this pencil case that I did also get this month to put them in. So they are now all in here um, with their little swatch. Again, there's a video on the channel if you want a bit more of a look into them. But yeah, I quite like them. You might notice they've gone down a little bit if you've watched that video. I have done a page with them this month. Um, and I did use them with my Andra Creatives that are also living in this pencil case with them. I think they work quite nicely together. Um, the page I did this month had quite a lot of greens in and yeah, I did kind of feel I needed a few more greens for the page that I've worked in. So I have added some, uh, I think I used the Artex with them because they seem very similar to the Artex. But overall, pleased with them. They're a nice set of pencils. They're comfortable to work with they're not too hard they've got quite a lot of pigment in them i do like them but yeah they're in this month as well i put them back in the trolley and not doing very well at it the other thing that's again been on the channel last month uh, that came in is my naomi uh, chalk pastel pencils that lightwish sent me so um yeah i don't really use a huge amount of chalk pastels these were quite a learning curve but yeah i did a little page with these this one um and i have got to seal it no, no i can't reach it there we go not tried it yet but i have just um got this frisk pascal pa pascal <laughs> pastel fixative to have a go at spraying this and my little swatch chart um, from those again there's a closer look on the channel you'll see me do that whole um, image I'm not going to go any further into it so yeah look back and have a look if you're interested in that but yeah I'll try and have a go with this and see what I think I think I need to go outside because it's probably going to stink isn't it these things normally do and I think that was all the things that have been on the channel um, then I've got two of these so i'd bought the confetti tuli art um set tuli art i have a bit of a love and hate thing going on when they work they're great they're amazing pens prices i think they're a bit overpriced the pro ones of which i have the excuse me leaning ooh, i have the yellow set of the pros which are these ones that just live in my container over there and I've got to be honest I haven't swatched them all just because I know how quick they dry up sometimes so like this yellow I've used quite a lot and I've been cleaning the nib quite a lot before I close it 
and they're living flat in my container that's literally right in front of my uh, working desk here and I'm probably going to do the same colour section in this one is really nice so you've got all of these colours again I haven't swatched them these ones seem to be a new addition so I bought this confetti and my brother and his girlfriend bought me the 28 wildflowers that I thought the palettes worked quite nicely together I've been wanting the I think there's a pastel set in the pros isn't there but it, it's I think it's 36 pounds here in the UK and I'm I'm like I'm not paying 36 pounds for pens that I'll use 10 times and then it'll dry up like because that's just annoying these ones which I think are new additions to the two the art ones these ones were well this one in particular the confetti one was a lot cheaper and this one was a little bit cheaper as well so um, they they look exactly the same as the pros why didn't I keep one of those out um, in terms of the the pens themselves the print on them is slightly different so these new ones have still have the same coloured window but it tells you what series they are so special colour series confetti extra fine I don't know what the CF is for obviously you can see through the window and all of that whereas the pros have they don't say they're the pros it just oh it says the pro there doesn't it so it says pro extra fine so I'm going to keep them all together in my little container there which I'll show you a bit more of in a minute um, but yeah the nibs are the same so they just have the plastic nib which to me looks exactly the same as that as you can see I've not even used this pro one but they are, look the same to me I don't know what makes one a pro and what makes one a special um, but yeah I'm quite hopeful these they have a nice colour palette so obviously I use my lightwish ones a lot but for yellows and very pale pinks and very pale kind of lavender colours I find myself going over those quite a lot and these are a little bit more opaque so what's this tat is it here some some advert tat or some instructions um, and I think there are some new nibs in there as well but that is the colours in that one like I say sorry I'm being bad but I haven't swatched them I'm not going to swatch them because I'll only swatch them when I'm going to use them to try and keep them alive have I opened it yes I have um, I'm hoping these greens are quite good to use but again I've got some more light yellows some more light kind of skinny pinks um, and some soft lavenders that I use a lot of and doing flowers and things like that so I'm thinking these will be quite useful additions um, to go in and I may as well show you what I'm putting them in while I've got these out so I have one of these already set up at the front of my desk there. But I've also bought another of these just from Timu. I think it was eight quid. That has these little drawers that these pop in really quite nicely. And obviously the see-through. So I can see when it's in front of me over there what's in each of the trays. Um, so I've got two sets of these. So one's already in there and I've got a second one to sit underneath it to put these in so I can just literally pull the tray out that I need um, and these are going to fit in quite nicely so I did quite a bit of measuring will they fit, will they fit hopefully I've got six drawers so I'm thinking these two sets will hopefully fit into those two drawers just so they're handy and they're flat and if they die after that well I can do nothing more to keep them alive um yeah i don't know i i i'm afraid i i think tuli art pens are a bit overpriced for what they are i prefer my light wish ones most definitely but just occasionally i want something that's a bit more opaque and they have the color palette i like so yeah we'll try them we'll see how they go see how long they last for hopefully i won't be saying bad things <laughs> let's move that out of the way what else did I get also on the acrylic paint pen um, I think it was Zoe that I saw I was using these I've used my Lightwish ones these ones let me grab them 
and I've got them in single trays at the moment. I've used these ones loads in some of my backgrounds, so this one in particular I know is run out. So I quite often do the entire background of one of the pages that I'm working in in these. As you can see, this one's a bit <laughs> dinged up because I've used it a lot and I've run out both sides of this pen now. But I'm using these a lot for backgrounds, just when I want to flatten in a bit of colour. These dry so beautifully flat on the paper that you can just colour over them like you haven't put an acrylic paint pen on there. And I've been using them to seal my pages as well if I want to do a bit of metallic paint work over it. So I've run out some of my nice ones and I'm having a bit of a skin month, as I said. So I think these were like something silly, like... They, they were a cheap price and then they had a voucher. So I think I got these for 8 50 and they look similar. Similar colour, isn't it? Look, they look very similar. It's the same kind of body, I think. There's probably not going to be as much ink in. The nib is similar-ish. I think the paint looks a bit thinner to me when I'm looking at it. But I won't know until I try it. But I thought for just using them just to seal a page and like I say for the couple that I've run out, out of my main set for eight quid, I'm not gonna moan about those. And I so hopefully they'll work somewhere near as well as those ones. They're probably not gonna be quite as nice, but just for the couple that I've killed <laughs> with my backgrounds, I thought they're a quite handy little cheap buy. Um what else have I got? So I've got <laughs> these. I can't wait to use these. Again, these were a present from <laughs> my brother, sister-in-law. <laughs> I use a lot of bookmarks, obviously, for <laughs> marking my pages, for when I'm planning what pages to do, when I've done pages. And these are a whole box of little metallic magnetic markers of bookmarks of dogs. So yeah, I've got, this is where I, look, there's my, there's my Molly. She's literally huffing about the, <laughs> under my feet at the moment. Why are you talking to yourself, mum? You're a mutter. But yeah, so I've got dogs. Rottweiler, mm, maybe not for me, <laughs> but it'll still mark my page. And there's loads in here. This is just so cute. Ah. But yeah, they're from Amazon, if you look up metallic bookmarks i'm sure they are oh, cute <laughs> they're just so cute look at that that's all so cute isn't it there's just too many cute dogs for my bookmarking pages i'm really looking forward to using them i am very sad aren't I? they're just so cute i've probably got the other mollies on something already because i'll pick her out first ah, so many dogs i'm gonna pause now to put these away because <laughs> this is not going quick is it but yeah I've got a nice pack of lots of little metallic bookmarks that just hold the pages really nicely. And particularly for spiral books, books with spiral bindings, I found my normal bookmarks just fall out straight away as quick as I've put them in. So a magnet magnetic one that I can't say is really handy. And I'm sure I'll get to the point where I don't know where all these are because they're all stuck in books. I'll put them away just a sec. And I'm back. What else have I got? I've got a lovely little addition to my Caleros. So this is Paradise. And these are very pretty, but I've not played with them yet. So it's got uh, Sky Blue, Lagoon, Mermaid, Blackberry, Fiji, and Apple Green. Apple Green looks lovely. I love this Fiji as well. Yeah, looking forward to having a play. I need to get another of those... Um, you can get bigger tins for these. I can't remember how the other, how many the other has in, but I like having them all together in a big tin, so I'm probably gonna um, have a search about and see who's got the bigger tins in to have these in. Because I think I have a little gold set that are on their own somewhere. Yes, I do. I think I have the little pale set, these ones, magic that are also living on their own in this set. So I kind of like to have all my odd ones together in one tin because I think you use them more together when you're just pulling out one thing rather than loose things like this together. So at some point when I'm feeling a bit more flush, I'll order the bigger tin for these, but these are lovely as well. Looking forward to having a play with those. Paradise, very nice. 
I do like the Coloro ones. They're always dry, really nice and glossy looking. And the pigment is always very consistent. And let's be honest, you get quite a lot in these little circles. I know they're not the cheapest, but they last for so long. Then, what else did I get? I got a new bag for some of my markers. So it's a, again, I think my brother bought me this, a 120 marker set and it has the little um, squares in to hopefully plan, let's get that out, plan the spaces a little bit more because I have a, those sets that a hoo hoo bought me, oh, sent me, but I grabbed them. So I have a couple of these, I've got three of these bags now that I've just kept them in the bags and I've actually quite liked having them in the bags because it means I can literally lift them down and have them right next to you when you're working. So I quite like having them in the bags, but having them in three bags is a bit annoying. So I'm kind of hoping that I can get them all in. I've got three bags, but I'm thinking I might get three of these in because one of them is quite small skin tone ones is much smaller so I'm hoping they'll all fit in there so when I want to use them I can literally have that on my desk in front of me like that and have it right in front um, and it all together in one thing rather than having three of these lying around um, I'm hoping that will work give it a try hopefully it should be easier to keep them all together and then in order to make room I'm going to also take out of my storage thing out there my i can reach them i have the full set of tri blend brushes and this is the container container case i'm not sure what we're calling it but this is the case that these fit in i think my mother bought me this so i'm going to put all of these in a container again for the same reason really that at the moment they're up there and you're able to get up to get the ones you want and I find it a bit annoying, whereas if I just got them in a case, you can have them next to you or I can take them downstairs. It's just a bit easier, isn't it? So it's a little bit difficult to show on camera, really. But the whole... Excuse the noise. I realise the noise is terrible. The whole Velcro bit inside, if I put all that down, comes out and then you can just literally take that around with you and I think the whole 48 all the pens actually fit just in this bit because obviously you've got three pens in one a couple of mine are running out I need to do some research for the inks but yeah I'm thinking that should work quite nicely I think it's been an organization month isn't it particularly for my birthday I was a bit like oh, I don't I don't really need anything much but organization I do need things like that have been driving me a bit nuts then what else have I got I've also got this little item hold on sorry my dog wanted out let me out you're talking to yourself mum so I've got a phone memo little mini printer that my brother bought me which as you can see I was doing some test prints of my my moles <laughs> Mrs. Floor Scraper herself, in case you could hear her. I want out, let me out, let me out. So it came with, I think these are the transparents. Actually, does it say? It just says thermal on it, doesn't it? So this is basically a little mini printer that you connect to your phone or iPad or something like that, if you have one. Um, and then it comes with a little, let's get it up a little um, app on your phone and then literally you can just start printing different bits and pieces so it has like little templates that you can go through that are quite cute and I just thought it's a I've got quite a lot of stuff as you can imagine in this room that needs a bit of labeling obviously you can use it for journaling but there's like loads of different pre-loaded graphics that are in there already like i think this is festivals cool summer there's loads of different bits and pieces that you can play about with it's got loads of different little categories in there as well and some of them you can type in some of them as you can imagine you um 
just need to select the one and print it as it is so oh my god that's fun we'll see if it'll print that because I'm silly like that I'm not sure whether they're connected but we'll find we'll soon find out uh, connected good get on with it then battery device see if it Oh yeah, there we go. Now, it does have little teeth on the side, but because I've got the plasticky of the sticker types in mind, it'd be better to actually just chop it. So yeah, it could have been obviously a label for something. I've used it, well I've started, um, but as you can see, it's just like a semi transparent little sticker. So I've started, let me grab one have quite a few of these tins that I have various different watercolours in so as you can see I've started to label a couple of them because all my tins look the same and I was constantly picking up the wrong one what is it so yeah I've started to add some little labels on various different bits and pieces and obviously you can use them in my journal when I'm efficient enough to have actually done it as well so yeah I'm quite enjoying it and obviously it's so little you can just chuck it in your bag and take it somewhere with you um to come with two more of those little um transparency ones before but yeah you could do an okay printer even just obviously it's only black and white it's a heat printer so it works kind of like the, like a receipt you know when you go to the shops some of the papers last different lengths of time but i've also got because i my brother got me that i had a look on timu and let me turn it off because i'm not printing i'm just gonna waste the power otherwise turn off there we go had a look on Timu and it was much cheaper on there to buy the proper paper for this printer than it was on Amazon UK. So I've ordered quite a lot of different ones. So this, as you see, is white thermal adhesive paper that will should, the print should stay good for two years. I've ordered black on clear, so I think these are just clear rolls. Let me check. As you can see, I've played with them. Yeah, so it's just completely clear. So that one was semi-transparent that's in the machine at the moment, but I've ordered some completely transparent. And then I've got... Oh, that's that another box of the same. Surely not. Oh, I must have ordered two of them. thought I'd ordered something different. Black on gold. So these I do need to have a bit more of a play with. So quite looking forward to printing some bits on these. So this, as you can see, is beautiful, kind of glittery gold. And obviously the print will be black, which is what the, the label means. But, yeah, quite looking forward to doing a bit on those. I think that'll be quite nice as well. And then I think this one was coloured one. Yeah, this one's yellow, silver and gold. show you the two that are different so I think this is the silver which is more of a just a complete metallic look it's not glittery like the other gold was and the yellow I didn't love I've got to be honest but I've got another gold and that silver in this pack so the yellow is a bit ooh. kind of feels like I'm reducing things for sale yellow sticker it's down in price <laughs> yeah I'm not sure when I'll use the <laughs> not sure when I'll use the yellow it's a bit but I do like the silver and I've got another of those nice pearly golds so it's all good but yeah these were so much cheaper on Timu so if you have one of these printers don't order labels off Amazon get them from Timu because it's the exact same stuff for literally so much cheaper that some of these were like 12 pounds on amazon uk and i've ordered the same thing for two pounds 50 off to me um, obviously you have to wait a bit longer but 
who cares? This will last me forever. Let's be honest, the amount of paper I've got for it now. Uh, other things I got off Timu, which are not current related, sorry in advance. I have got a few diamond painting bits and pieces because I've been working on one of my diamond art clubs. I've bought it ages ago. It's an Art Nouveau uh, Mucha page. I've still got loads of it to do. It's a monster. But I have been having quite a few um, of the things that are just sticking together. So I did get one of these little grinders, little magnetic grinders, just to separate some of them because they've been driving me mad. Um, and you try and separate them, don't you? And then it just pings off somewhere, never to be seen again. So I got one of those. I also got some of these little uh, wax um, pencils that are just solid wax. Sorry for the glare on these. I think you have to sharpen them, don't you, to help pick up? Because I, I think that one does have some of those furry dust diamonds in, so I thought that might help. And on the same theme, I also thought this might help, but I now can't get the ends off. I've looked at this, so I know it's open. Oh, yeah, that one. So I've got one of these that has, again, like a sticky, so sticky it's got my dog's hair on it, sorry. Yeah, I thought that might help as well, just for some of those more tricky um, diamonds that are a little bit more difficult to get back in. I have no idea what this end is for though, because it's super thin, like really, really thin. I'm sure some of you know. What What is that end for? I don't know. Do you know? Anyway, got that to help. I don't do very much of it, but just as I'd had a week off and needed to do something relaxing because it's been a little bit of a tricky month, um, yeah, I thought that would be helpful. And then I haven't got one of the fancy pens. I did look on Diamond Art Club and thought, I'm not paying that kind of money. That's crazy money. I think I'm going to use the plastic nibs if they'll fit in this pen. Again, it's a bit daft. Just a load of like confetti glitter. Um, I don't like these nibs. They're too thick. So I'm going to use the Diamond Art ones, hopefully in there. But I thought it's a bit more comfortable in your hand, isn't it? So I've got one of those. And then I've also got this kind of three-in-one massive tray. Because I thought sometimes it's just, when you're in a heavy bit of confetti, it is handy to have a couple more trays. And they were pretty cheap, and I thought that would be handy. So, yeah, I got those as well, which I know is not colouring, but, you know, it is what it is. And then, because I'm a big child, if I'm ordering off Timu, I will also order some stickers, which I'll only whiz through quickly. I've got some... Oh, little uh, Russian dolls because I think they're cute and I have a few in real life I like those I've got some little witches again thinking for my colouring journal really but these ones are nice because they're properly glossy ones and they're normally quite matte from TV but yeah quite like these sorry they all seem to be upside down which is not helpful <laughs> when you're trying to look at them but a load of witches I know most of you not bothered in the stickers anyway then I've also got some art ones these two sets are exactly the same so I won't order but open both of them but I can get these out they're just basically works of art ones so as you can see there's Mona and a few other randoms a bit of Van Gogh that's my, that, that is what I'm doing in my um, diamond painting, that exact piece, that's, that's it, that's the one I'm doing, and I'm about up to, I've done the bottom bit there, <laughs> if only it was that size, I'd get through it a bit quicker, <laughs> but yeah, little, some of them are quite old fashioned -y kind of ones, but there's a bit mix of all sorts in there, there's some more Van Gogh. bit of Picasso so yeah lots of little arty little prints and then finally I got this one because it had mushrooms in it but I don't think it's printed properly like they're all a bit kind of orange it's like the blue has run out on the printer they're all a bit orange looking there's a few that are quite nice and then the rest are quite kind of like this basically so I'm a bit disappointed with this set but anyway 
We won't go through my misprinted stickers. I'm going to tidy these away. <laughs> and finally, the last little thing was just my scroller box this month, which I have to be honest and say it did not really impress me. I have got a chunky acrylic paint marker pen by Dale Rowney. It's the cheap ones with a massive, huge marker. It's probably going to go to school because I'll probably never use it here. And then these strange Boya crayons that are huge. They're quite nice to make marks with, but again, probably going to go to school. Am I ever going to use these? I just don't think I am. I do like the feel of them. They, they don't feel like a crayon. They feel harder than a crayon. It's hard to describe, really. Yeah, I don't know what I think about them. But anyway, I've only got these four. It's quite a strange colour palette, isn't it? You'd have thought if we're going to do four colours, maybe the primaries, maybe a yellow. <laughs> then at least they could layer them. And you've got this kind of marbly looking brown. Again, I don't know. I, I just don't know what I'd ever do with them. I quite like the idea that, that they've come with, but yeah, it was a bit. I was a bit. Uh, I don't really like this month at all. I don't know if I'm going to carry on with it, to be honest. Anyway, <laughs> and that was everything that's in this month. Um, yeah, that's been waiting around to trip me up. A lot of it from my birthday. Uh, not so much that I've bought. I've mainly only bought the Timu stuff and some of those second-hand books. So I've not done too bad from my perspective. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully there's something you, that's interested you. Most of all of those things have been on Amazon. So these are on Amazon, the little um, from Memo printers, if that's something you're interested in. The, he, my brother did get this from Amazon UK. Um, and you can get all the papers still on there as well. Um, other things were from Timu, my diamond, heart, diamond painting stuff, and that little uh, organiser tray. That was Timu. But yeah, most of my books that weren't secondhand were Amazon books. So it should all be easy to find if there's something that you're interested in. Um, something you can't find, by all means, do give me a message in the comments and I'll I'll try and find it if I can. Obviously, secondhand books, they're going to be tricky to find. Um, they were eBay, some of my secondhand books. So, you know, they're just if someone's selling them, aren't they? You just got to unfortunately keep your eye out for it if there's something you want um, and go searching. I won't have no magic solution to finding the secondhand ones. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day. See you next time. Bye bye.